Regional French food. Champagne. Perhaps not the almond. Yuck. Perhaps more the prosecco type. Quality. Gets added to one of the more artisanal sausages that's associated with the region. Ah d'accord, c'est voilà. aspergé en fait, tout simplement. Le robage. Alors certains mettent une ficelle, bon, mais moi, la ficelle, ça m'embête un peu. Voilà. Parce qu'après, il faut la retirer. Ah oui, d'accord. Donc c'est là où on reconnaît l'artisanal, du voilà. coup. C'est vraiment le... Vous voyez Ah ouais Oh Donc, Terminé. Votre première enduillette, elle est en base. Voilà. C'est ça. Voilà. qui est réduit moitié. D'accord. Voilà, bah, ça c'est intéressant. Et demain, dans votre assiette. Through Troy, the town. Beautiful medieval half timbered town. Sort of between Dijon and Paris. You sniff the reeking buns of angels. <laughs> no, Dijon not so far away. Mustard, you like to have with this sausage. Acted like it was over air. You wouldn't expect to put champagne in a sausage. Especially when the sausage is made of pig's intestines. On a ce côté matérialiste. Alors moi, ce qui me sont quand même qui est du terroir, on a quand même des choses qui sont bien. Alors ça, c'est particulier. Donc là, on connaît l'un des secrets parce qu'on va pas tout connaître, bien évidemment. How do you get the champagne up the pig's intestines? Is a very good question. First, you have to chop out the intestines, chop them up, make them into a ribbon, sprinkle a little bit of champagne over, twist them all up, <sighs> the poor little piggy, and stuff the twisted intestines into the sack of its own intestines. The pig is long past caring over what's being squirted over its nether regions. You <laughs> might pretend you ain't got one on the bottom of you. And who knows, perhaps someone will claim that pigs love a Prosecco enema. <laughs> Estomac, un tiers, et intestin, deux tiers, pour faire une véritable enduite de trois. Lamelle. Voilà, donc ça c'est les fameuses lamelles qu'on a euh, voilà. à l'intérieur euh, de l'enduillette. Là, je vais vous en confectionner une en lanière, hein, qui fait que, on décèle un petit peu par euh, connaissance oui. la quantité que l'on met dedans, oui, après comment ça, on la prépare, ce qu'on met dedans. Alors ensuite, il y a l'assaisonnement, donc vous voyez déjà la base est déjà ici. It's a delicacy, people say, when there's some revolting food, don't they? For me, something has to be really good to risk blood in your faeces. If the lower colon hasn't been cleaned properly during the processing of the food, but of uh, BSE concerns, veal from deer started not being used so much. In some regions of France, I don't think it's anything to do with deer colon and pig colon being rolled up together and so intimate. It's just that BSE from cows has more chance of passing to deer. Some of you might not agree. Black pepper in the colon. <laughs> Salt and shallots. But it probably likes a lot of misery. Boris Johnson during the Bullingdon Club is supposed to have got very intimate with a pig's head. And David Cameron, the other end, according to Black Mirror. Take a while and you will see. But in the mind of a Bush Tucker trial, I tried Andoulette. Andoulette de Troy is what you get in supermarkets. When you are in Troy, have it with some Dijon mustard. The hotter the better, but... Don't get it on your fingers and then put your finger in your eye, it burns. Don't get it in any other orifice either. And if that poor old pig was still alive. There's a few different ways of preparing your colon sausage. 
Cajun has got to be my favourite from the southern states of America, but... Quimper, near Brest, creates the full Andouille. Andouille is like the larger version. Andouillette is just like a sausage size version. Andouille is like the size of your arm. Fist and all. Without the Cajun spice. And maybe you think you're too tough to cry. Spices without the smoked, without the red wine sauce with cream that some try and polish a turd and marinade and boil it in. Mushrooms are always going to go a long way to saving this sausage. You're just trying to disguise it, really. White wine and mustard sauce makes contextual sense. You could try... Do you think you're a lonely guy? Grilling it, skewers, barbecue, puppy lot, um, cold and cut into thin slices as a starter if it's that type of dense consistency rather than the less tightly wound that sort of pucker up out at you when you cut through or just open out completely if they stick to the pan when you're frying them. It's recommended that you accompany them with a, a supple aromatic local wine from Burgundy, a Macon Blanc or a Saint Veranor Cote de Bone, but it's a waste. The fragrance of Andouillette, and largely the taste, and I am being kind compared to many, it's stale urine, really. Does it taste of poo and fart? Well, perhaps it does a little bit. You could do a side-by-side -side plate comparison if you really wanted to. But just the same as pâté, sometimes. You can have that dog food-like flavour. You can tell the taste of something by the smell of it, you know. But seeing as we're on that subject, yes, when I was a child I did taste some of my dog's dog food out of a can. But all over France there are versions. Beer braised mussels with andouille sausage is an alternative to the chorizo-like option that works well. I say this because if you've got enough oil and you've toasted it nice, it seems like something different. And, you know, beer breath. Well, do you really want stale urine and diluette breath as well? You might have been wondering why there isn't much garlic in the recipe of an andouillette plate of food. Breath, like you've been licking the inside of a pig's backside and the urinal trough of a beer pub. And garlic breath combined. That's just going to be too much, isn't it? There is some sense of French pride that makes them the cock their national emblem. You were dazzled by the exciting new costume of Poe Poe. Then on Tuesday night, Caesar is back in town. Yeah. And Louette is a way, though, of saying, I'm feeling very French today. I'm going to eat something that my grandmother would have had to eat between the wars. Perhaps largely constrained within her region of France, she only ever knew one sausage. She didn't know the big, fat, dark, smoked andouille. She didn't necessarily know the short, fat girth of the intestines of one single pig curled up into itself. Or deer and pig intestines wrapped up together like two barbed foxes after mating. Who knows if Grandma ever chomped on a bit of Cajun. But it would have been more artisanal, less mass-produced stuff. Her sticky, non, not non-stick skillet would have split the thing right open, as they do in the North of England with tripe and onions sautéed in lard. She probably stuffed her coiled colon with bacon. Or perhaps she had the good sense to serve it to her husband when he came back from the cafe after having too much to drink and told him it was rump steak and kept the housekeeping money in a menstrual rag drawer that he never went into if the French weren't being so culinary up their own ass. The real accompaniment to Andalouette sausage is probably Perno, which tastes so strongly of aniseed. You need something like stale urine to cut through that. Dare your
yourself to that once in a lifetime experience. Ladies, you can be an asshole too. You might pretend you ain't got one on the bottom of you. But don't fool yourself, girl. It's looking at you. Don't fool yourself, girl. It's winking at you. Don't fool yourself, girl. It's blinking at you. That's why. Don't fool yourself, girl. It's going right up your boot shoe. Don't fool yourself, girl. It's going right up your boot shoe. Don't fool yourself, girl. It's going right up your...